I came back to a university in the late 70s at a time that was difficult for all universities. All times are difficult, of course, in their ways. The university was not rich, to put it mildly. And so what we could have done would have been to hoard our resources and be a very decent place. Or we could think about what we really wanted to be and see how we could build toward it. I had always felt that the college could be larger than it was. And so one of the questions I put in our big period of questioning was, you know, what, what kind of emphasis should we be giving to the college? We had a major commission on the future of graduate education in which we decided that we would certainly maintain at least a third of the university as a graduate program. And then we thought we'd have about a third undergraduate and about a third professional. That meant increasing the size of the college. And that led to a lot of controversy because nobody ever wants to increase size. They always think the current size is just right or maybe just a little too large. And the idea of adding to it is always controversial. But I felt that the college students, when the college was around 22, 2400, felt submerged in the university rather than the masters of the university, which undergraduates should be. I mean, they basically set its stone. And we decided broadly, through a lot of dialogue and consultation committees, talking back and forth, and what we hoped would be the shape of the university. And we believed in its major strengths as a university that is more than the sum of its parts. Many universities are like corporate umbrellas with individual companies. This university, more than any other that I know, is a university in which the different parts together are able to create a kind of strength that would not exist without that, and a kind of intellectual environment and intensity that can be exhausting or sort of exhilarating at the same time. And that's what we wanted to maintain. It was also, of course, this is not something that's totally changed, the time when those T-shirts that said University of Chicago were fun has come to die and so on and so forth. I thought that maybe we could lighten up the place a little bit for students without diminishing the intellectual seriousness. I gave a party for the college. We took over Ida Noyes and we had different bands on each floor and so on. We had a big party. At the end of it, a student came up to me and she said very politely, thank you, that was a very nice party. And then she glared at me and she said, I hope you're not going to try to make this a fun place. And I felt that is your University of Chicago student. On the other hand, I was deeply criticized, probably the major, major vituperation I experienced among many vituperations when I shut down the lascivious costume ball which dated from the 1960s when students had created the lascivious costume ball in order to have some fun. So you never were sure whether you were doing the positive or the negative. In any case, we needed to take new initiatives in the recruitment of students. We needed to look hard at whether there were programs we should get rid of. That's one thing that institutions rarely do, is actually close down programs. I bear the scars of closing down some programs. I shut down, or was responsible for shutting down the library school, for example. Um, the School of Education had disappeared. The Graduate Department of Education was to disappear, to be replaced by an interdisciplinary program. Um, I shut or was responsible for shutting down and several centers and institutes that had outlived their time. So I think that that combined with redoing of buildings and creation of some new things. It was in my time that the Department of Computer Science came into being and in my time that the Harris School for Public Policy Studies came into being. So we did some major new programs 
and departments as well as some elimination of older ones. And in the end, the thing that makes the biggest difference always and that determines the quality of an institution like this is the quality of appointments. The best appointments you can make in every department, in every school, and in the administration. Every good appointment is a triumph. Every good person you can keep is a triumph. And the more attention you give to that, the better. And we were very fortunate in the people we were able to recruit. And I was very fortunate in the colleagues I had in the administrative functions of the university. So that was what we did, or what we tried to do. Thank you.